if they decide the whole restaurant needs a remodel, then you're looking at as much as two million. Still interesting. If they decide that your store needs a little remodel. Anyway, McDonald's based an ad campaign around a song about a murderer. Ooh. If you're a certain age, you might remember McDonald's Mac Tonight campaign. It's the one with the moon wearing and super suave sunglasses and singing about how MDs was for dinner and not just lunch. And here's the weird thing about it. the song they picked uh, to parody was about a criminal and a murder. Of course, Mac the Knight. Can't think of it. Dun, dun. Ow. Mac the Knight. Y'all know Mac the Knight. The song was Mac the Knight, made famous by 1950 star Bobby Darren. It's catchy, sure, but it's also a song based on German song from a three-penny opera that was originally a pretty graphic, incredibly violent tale about a man named McHeath who actually dates back to 1728. And, <laughs> damn. And what's a while McDonald's Moon Man sung lyrics like, when the clock strikes half past six, babe, right? Okay, uh, Darren had sung lyrics like that. Okay, when when you know the shark bites with his teeth, babe, scarlet billows start to spread. There's also an entire verse about someone being drowned at the bottom of a river with a pair of cement shoes and the ladies of the night lining up for Mac. Well, that's about as far as slinging burgers as y'all can get. The campaign disappeared abruptly, and that's largely because Darren's only son sued McDonald's for $10 million. Uh, the internet never forgets, though, and the moon man went on to have a post-mainstream ad campaign as a racist meme created by YTMND, a something awful 4chain spinoff. Okay, actually, in case you didn't know, McDonald's isn't welcome in a lot of countries. There are tens, uh, there are tons of McDonald's restaurants worldwide, but surprisingly, there are a number of cities and countries that don't have a single location. Take Florence, Italy. In 2016, the Telegraph was reporting on a lawsuit McDonald's had filed against the city after they refused to let the Golden Archers be set up shop in the pizza um, uh, Del Dumo. And what other areas can't get their McDonald's fixed? Well, when the U.S. military closed their base in Bermuda in 1995, McDonald's closed too. And they haven't reopened because the Prohibited Restaurant Act of 1977 said it's prohibited. Iran kicked them out in 1979 and instead they're home to a chain called McDonald's. <laughs> Macedonia and McDonald's had a falling out and McDonald's had to cut and run out of Bolivia after a sort of nationwide disdain for the chain had resulted in poor sales. Barbados, of course, which traditionally doesn't eat much beef, was another failed experiment with their McDonald's lasting for just one year. There are plenty of rumors as to why McDonald's has never opened in Montenegro. And, of course, there are none in North Korea. But the most fascinating of all is Iceland, who said to goodbye to McDonald's uh, in 2008. And according to the culture trip, Love for an Icelandic burger called the Ham Hamburgerilla was so strong that the people boycotted McDonald's. I mean, boycotted. Anyway, let me pronounce that again. The Iceland burger chain called the Hamburgarabula 
was so strong that the people boycotted McDonald's. Visitors can still stop and see the McDonald's burger ever served, ever served, though, as it's sitting at the Rehavik Bus Hotel Hostel, looking much as it uh, the same as it did years ago. Uh, McDonald's also made a massive move to ban straws. Mm. If in ever if everyone did just one thing to help the environment, it would. Um, if they did one thing to help the environment, it would make a huge difference in our world. In 2018, one time the one time used plastics, particularly drinking straws, made headlines as people started to realize how bad for the environment that plastic really is. And according to the Iceland Collective, they're one of the items most commonly found during beach cleanups. And the problem with getting rid of them is that um, there is alternatives are much more expensive. But McDonald's has still vowed to ditch straws, starting with their restaurants in the UK and Ireland. And according to the Independent, all 1,300. Uh, 61 locations will have their plastic straws replaced by paper ones um, at a much greater cost to the golden arches. But both the government officials and customers have lauded their decision and not a moment too soon. UN estimates uh, suggest that unless something major is done by the year 5050, the seas will contain more plastic than fish. Ugh. More plastic than fish? Oh my God. McDonald's accidentally designed golden arches are, aren't always gold. <laughs> yeah, we realized that. Um, when McDonald's opened in uh, Sedona, Arizona, they had to conform to local laws that served to protect and look and feel with the landscape. So their M is turquoise. And there are certain laws in certain areas, you know, that want you to comply. Um, McDonald's has had a long legal history um, in English cases. McDonald's had the long running legal case in English history. That's interesting. The longest running. And that's something. Your McDonald's chicken McNuggets may have died of heart failure. Now this right here, I really wanted to throw up. Not everyone loves McDonald's, especially animal rights activists. The chain's official stance says, we believe treating animals with care and respect. And that's an integral part of our commitment to serving McDonald's to uh, as safe food, and that's admirable. But the animal rights groups claim bullshit. In 2018, Animal Equality partnered with other organizations to demonstrate at McDonald's locations and broadcast through iAnimal, a VR experience that took people inside factory farms. To see the suffering of chickens that ultimately made uh, McDonald's menu. They called out McDonald's not just for their policies, but for being a leader in animal welfare that they thought that they should be, for not being the leaders in animal welfare. And according to the Independent, one of those core issues was unnatural breeding practices that resulted in chickens that got too big too quickly and ended up suffering all kinds of health issues and heart failure. This came on the heels of McDonald's announcement that they were going to be raising a standard of care for their chickens by 2024. Is that good enough? You shouldn't go through the drive through on horseback. I'm sure y'all know that. Um, 
Ronald McDonald used to be a part of McDonald's, but not anymore. And according to the street, there was a major pushback in 2011 to retire him. Why? Because he was being used to market unhealthy fast food items to kids. So they had to get rid of his ass. Okay. Um, McDonald menu has items that even the staff won't eat. That's that McRib. I'm telling y'all. Uh, it is disgusting. It is cardboard. Frozen cardboard. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets might not be the mystery meat they used to be, but according to former McDonald's employees, we what should we not order at your restaurant? Nuggets. Make sure that they're not grabbing some off the stack of food that, that's ready and willing, waiting to be served. McDonald's filet of fish. They warn people away from the filet of fish. Uh. Anyway, um, smoothies, milkshakes, and sodas. Stay away from them. Egg white breakfast sandwiches. And you know what? How many of us know that? How many of us know that? Well, they got a few items in, in their attempts to be healthy, like wraps and things like that. But one thing I want you all to know, they do have on the menu just how bad this stuff is for your health. And so if you refuse to read and refuse to make better choices, then McDonald's going to, this is, this is not the worst that can happen. Not remembering this stuff. The worst that can happen is that it can play into your already pre uh, um, preconditioned ailments and make them a lot worse. Like all the salt taking your shit up to just 10 times the daily normal, that type of stuff. So take care of yourself, y'all, and um, please stay away from McDonald's. I'll see you in the next video.